ESPN, Stephen A. Smith is sorry. Sorry that he suggested women sometimes provoked men into battering them. He made that unfortunate suggestion in response to the weak punishment meted out to star running back Ray Rice by the NFL for knocking his then fiance unconscious in an elevator. It is nice that Smith apologized, but I, want, but I wonder if ESPN will do what it ought to do, suspend Smith. Look, in 2012, the management at ESPN expressed outrage when two employees used the phrase chink in the armor while referencing Jeremy Lin, the Asian basketball player. One employee was suspended for 30 days and the other was fired. So why is ESPN giving Smith a pass? Okay, I'm just going to come right out and say it. This is quite possibly the best minute and a half of audio we've ever come across. Well, come across it a long time anyway. A massive brawl in Anchorage, Alaska, reportedly involving Sarah Palin's kids and her husband. It was sparked after someone pushed one of her daughters at a party. That's what Bristol Palin told police in an interview after the incident. And now police have released audio of that interview. It does include some rather colorful language from Bristol. Here now is Bristol's recollection of how that night unfolded. So sit back and enjoy. Ah. My Tell little sister happened. comes up to me and says, some old lady just <laughs> pushed me. She just hit me. Okay. Oh, no, no one's going to touch my sister. Where was this at? So we were in the limo. I walk back up. Did you push my sister? And some guy gets in my face, pushes me down on the grass, drives me across the grass. You 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 this, you I get back up, he pushes me down on the grass again and pulls me by my feet. I think that long beep was my favorite part.